Hanging out with Mike with JM Custom Coach Builders today. You guys might remember him. I've had him on the channel before. He built some awesome camper creations. Well, today he's gonna introduce us to one of his clients and we're gonna get a tour of an ambulance camper conversion. So join us. Hi, how you doing? My name is Mike. I'm the owner and operator of JM Custom Coach Builders. We just recently uh, finished this ambulance here for uh, Ryan, our client, and he's gonna tell you a little bit about what he wants to use it for. Yes, my name's Ryan. Uh, I bought this 2002 ambulance here. It sits on an F450 chassis. Um, it's got a PL custom body on it, and I chose this because uh, it sort of fit my needs for recreational purposes. Um, my family and I were not really too hipped on flying these days due to all the issues that are going on. Uh, I started a lot of this build on my own, and, and uh, started to get a little more technical so I hired Mike to come on board with me and uh, he took it the rest of the way and him and I it was a little bit of a joint effort but most of it was uh, particularly the electronic portion of it uh, was all Mike's expertise so uh, I'll turn it over to Mike here and he can fill you in on uh, all the ins and outs let's check out the inside first so the customer wanted to keep everything pretty simple in here he wanted to keep uh, a lot of the existing structure and uh, style in here. So we basically just built around everything for him. First, we'll start off with the shower here. He wanted to have a shower with a bathroom. He used actual an old uh, interior boat door for the shower door that he acquired. Pretty simple shower, you know? Um, we have an exhaust fan, a light, and a nice shower fixture with a composite toilet down there that he can move in and out as he pleases. Got a uh, stock entry door right there. In case you need to talk to the driver or kind of crawl through. Um, just some electrical components in here. You know, a little thing, a couple things we added. A lot of stuff is its stock. Um, we come over here, we got, we have the stock cabinet here, but it's all been uh, repainted and re, uh, redone with the uh, switches there. Uh, we, we added this sink so he can have a sink. Uh, he does have a cooktop he's gonna put here when he needs to use it. It'll come and go. This does fold away too as well. We put some backsplash up here to give him more of a kitchen-y kind of feel. Just the uh, storage container that came with it. We kept the original rubber floor because it's very easy to clean, but we did put a nice runner on it just to uh, give it a little more style. Uh, we did take some of this uh, and built it out so you could have some storage here. And uh, then we installed jackknife sofas on both sides. They open like so. And you get a pretty nice sleeping area. Same with this one, they also fold down. So you have cup holders. And there's also a little storage below uh, with a uh, amplifier for the sound system in there. This thing actually did come stock with windows, which is great. So we didn't have to install those, those came with it. Uh, some more storage to the outside box here. We have speakers that I put into the doors, marine speakers, so then when you open these, they can play directly outside. This another jackknife sofa here. A little bit of storage down there. We got speakers underneath both of them. We have this fridge set up. I just built this cabinet around it to give it a little more style. Then put a microwave on top. The switch panel is stock, but I did add some extra switches in here, like for a water pump and a few of the lighting. Uh, options on the roof. It's a uh, six foot box, so there's plenty of uh, ceiling height for us that are at least six foot and under. And uh, let's go outside. Okay. We just have the uh, back of the shower here, which is great to have uh, access to the uh, lines if you ever have to maintenance them. There is a faucet here that he's gonna use for an outdoor shower. And then you could probably, you could hook it up here to be continued with that. Um, Back here, we just have some uh, basically stock ambulance storage. You can put anything you want in it. We, we do have a table we still need to incorporate inside. And he actually kept the, uh, the stretcher so he could use it as a creeper when he has to work underneath the thing. And of course, the back door is open. The one thing I like the most about having French doors in the back of your vehicle is that it basically turns your whole living space here into a patio. You got nice big open doors. Just some storage here. This is the uh, city water connection over here. We have the whole full water setup. 
We have the 25-gallon uh, uh, storage tank here. We have a uh, compressor for the air horns where you can get to the bottom of the sink here if, if you ever need to. We have the electric hot water heater here. We have the pump there, the accumulator. In this cabinet we have a, uh, some of the electrical system here. I have a full wire schematic so he can uh, work on it if he needs to. Uh, we got two EcoFlow batteries that are hooked together to make this thing power pretty well. We have a 3000 watt inverter, a uh, 12 volt charger for the uh, batteries, and we have some shelving up here. Patrick, thanks for having me on the uh, channel again. If you guys like what you see and you'd like something built out for yourself, you can check out jmccbuilders.com or you can check out our social media. Patrick put all the links in the, uh, in the description. Mike, always a pleasure to have you on the channel. I love all your creations. Well, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. See you soon.